let me show you how to create these gradients first you come to the layer you want to add effect to beat shape text or a rasterized layer double click come to gradient overlay click in the middle click the first stop modify the color come to the last one and then come to the middle just below the keyframe there click to add a stop modify the color to a brighter color you can change this to 45 degree and then reduce the scale to 50 so you see it's giving that vibe already stroke let's reset change the fill type to gradient click the gradient modify the colors to the same thing you've done earlier but make this more intense make it a bit darker a little bit darker and the middle point click the stop and make it white then you change this to 135 just so that the darker side of the field is giving you a brighter stroke or you can make it 120 let's change this to 70 let's increase it put it in the center let's increase it to four and there you have it that's our silver gradient view now let's create a golden one double click the layer come to gradient overlay let's reset it to start afresh let's move this to the side let's move this to the side click the middle and let's modify it to a golden color so you change the colors let's use here as the darker part of the gold and change this also to the darker part and then for the lighter parts in the middle let's use this color there you go use this color brighter gold and then let's change this to 50 or 40 and let's make this 45 let's add our stroke Let's modify the stroke as well. So we use the same color. And this one, yeah. This remains for opacity. Make sure it's on 100%. You can add the overprints. And there we have it. If you want to save these gradients, Come to your styles, click this plus button while selecting the layer. Make sure you check this include layer blending option. Then save it. The same with the other one. While the layer that has the effect is selected, click the plus button here. And then name it what you want to name it silver gradient. And then include blending. Now you have it there saved permanently. So let's say we want to apply it to this text now. We we'll just click there and it's applied. The same with this. But as you can see, it's not looking that nice on the text effect. So we'll have to tweak it a little bit to get a perfect uh, gradient view. So first let's tweak the gradient. Let's increase the scale to 100 and the angle should be minus 95. Then come to the stroke. Let's reduce the size to 2. Let the angle be 68. Okay, it's already looking good. So let's do the same thing for this other text. Come to the gradient. Increase the scale to 100 the angle should be minus 95 come to stroke the angle should be 68 and let's make the scale 45 and the size too so you basically just tweak it a little bit more on smaller objects thanks for watching